So, according to Mr. Kenzie, mm. yeah, for those that are coming up, you have to make smart choices. Very smart choices. And whatever you're doing, put God first. And like we said, consistency is the key. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to True Talk with Mir Rahim. And today we have here with us. I'm Kenzie. Okay. <laughs> All right. So today, Kenzie will be sharing with us some of his life experience. Stay tuned. First question for the day, Mr. Kenzie, mm -hmm. is what's been the biggest turning point in your life so far? The biggest turning point in my life yeah. should be um, when I started my career. Yeah, when I started working in the entertainment industry and everything. Yeah, All right. That's the biggest turning in my life. Can you share a time when you overcame a major challenge? And how we shaped who you are today. A major challenge. Okay. Um, I really, I really had challenges with anxiety. So, though, um, it's just good. It's just good. I built confidence. In this confidence, I prayed. Um, I was consistent in my work. Yeah, that's what really helped me face that challenge of anxiety. Alright. So it's mostly good. I just pray out. Just pray yeah. So before, like, they invite you for something, before you start, you first for praying your life. Yeah, I pray out loud. You pray out loud. <laughs> so everybody will know you are praying. Yes, yeah, so I, 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 that's, I, yeah. But actually, I pray, yeah. I just, yeah. one that's, or two words of prayer. That's it. Okay. So the third question is, what are some of the core values that guide your decision in life and work? Say so core values. Um, I'll say it's consistency, discipline, and prayer. Those are the core values. Yeah, I think we go first. Not the choice break answer, but yeah, consistency and okay. discipline. That's a, that's a good point. Mm. Yeah, in anything you're doing, just be consistent. That's nice. Is cute. <laughs> What's a piece of advice you wish you could give your younger self? Uh, my younger self? Yeah. Oh, uh, I would advise my younger self if I could see my younger self. I would advise myself like young man, make smart choices. A young man makes smart so, choices. Why yeah. growing up, you really didn't make smart choices. So if I had sat down to think about most of the events that happened in my life, then yeah. I would have made smart choices. So the fifth question is, how do you find balance between your personal life and your career? Mm, it is. This is my career. This is my personal life. My personal life is on top of my career. You get. So I, uh, what I face mostly in my personal life is mostly judging because I have to bring in my career, my look, my hair, everything. Who judging you up and down, that kind of thing. Yeah, that's what we actually do. Yes. So how I do this is just focusing more on my career, just focusing on my career. Mm. So that it gives me that mindset of most of the time I'm living my career. Mm -hmm. So. Every day of my life, I see myself as okay. This is Kenzie. And what's in my mind is Kenzie. My personality is Kenzie. My lifestyle mm -hmm. is Kenzie. Everything is Kenzie. And Kenzie is my career. So that's how I, I balance that. So you so, told us like what people say about you. Just focus on what you're doing. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that, I, that, 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 yeah. that one helps a lot, sir. And yeah. um, the sixth question is, what's been the most rewarding experience in your personal journey? <sighs> the most rewarding experience yeah uh, i think is me working and meeting some big people in the industry and um yeah working with people i've met people i'm currently working with yeah those are my biggest achievements i really appreciate it yeah. are there any habits or routines you've developed that have helped you maintain success or happiness prayer Prayer. Prayer. Prayer, yes. I think I'm liking you. You're first. Ah, prayer is good. Anything mm. you're doing, prayer first. Mm -hmm. No matter what you do. God first. God first. <laughs> yeah, so how do you approach personal growth 
and what's something you're currently working on improving personal growth um I'm currently working on improving myself. Yeah, like you personal growth. I want to just be the best version of myself. Okay, you want to be better than the way you were last year and last year. I want to be better than the way I am now. You still want to be better than the way you are now. Of course. Yeah. Um yeah, that's basically what I'm working on myself. Okay. That's that's what I'm working on. Mm. What role has failure played in your life and how do you bounce back from it? Failure. Mm. Failure has played a lot of roles in my life, too. ah, but that's the story for another day. But failure has taught me a lot. Thing is, um, what I learned from failure is, once I fail, I will not fail again. Even if I fail again, I'm going to feel the same way I failed before. Yeah. So I learn from my past failures, okay. and then if I fail again, I learn from it, and then just keep you learning. Do better. Yes. What relationships or experiences have had the greatest influence on shaping who you are today? On well, shaping who I am today, um, relationships, my family, my friends, people I work with, those are the relationships that have helped me shape my life to what I see in life. Yeah. They've helped you. Yeah. Yes, mentally, spiritually, yeah. Physically, everything. Uh, emotionally. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, as a young star, mm. what would you advise the younger ones that are coming up? Make smart choices. Mm-hmm. It's profitable. Okay. Always make smart choices. Calm down. Think something through before you do it. You yeah. can always put God first, right? Ah, you think of it, that was your priority already, said, don't be advised, they're not supposed to advise you that one. <laughs> Some people don't even remember that one. Ah, they would learn their habit. Yeah. So, according to Mr. Kenzie, mm. yeah, for those that are coming up, you have to make smart choices. Very smart choices. And whatever you're doing, put God first. And like we said, consistency is the key, regardless. I like I've said this before, regardless of your age, do not feel your age is going to deprive you from doing some kind of thing. Maybe you feel at the point where at this age you could have done it at that time, so because you're older now you can't do it again. That's a lie. Yeah. Age is just a number. So regardless, do not stop. Be consistent with us in whatever you're doing. Always pray, put God first. Any situation you find yourself, no matter how hard the challenges might be, remember to put God first. You know, if you don't if you don't put God first, that wisdom might not come. Ask for God's direction. Ask him to put you in the right path. If you are in the wrong path, just ask him to put you in the right path to make the decision. So for the young stars, make smart choices, be consistent, and put God first. Thank you for watching this video. Like we all know, this is True Talk with Mary Rahim. And I hope to see you in my next episode. Bye.